Hello and welcome everyone. Today we will see the reality behind the NMC's WFME recognition and I will answer the most important question that is are Indian medical students and graduates really eligible to apply for USMLE even when their medical school does not have an ECFMG sponsor note. Let's begin. On 20th September, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare released information about the NMC getting WFME recognition. It also states that all the medical schools that will open in next 10 years will automatically get WFME recognition after getting recognized by the NMC. This is a great achievement but the real question is are the things really updated on the websites? Let's see few examples if we are able to fill the exam form for USMLE. I have divided all the examples based on the year of establishment of the medical schools because the video was getting too long. So if your medical school is established in 2019 and above then your medical school must not be recognized by NMC as their first batch has not yet completed the internship. Batch 2019 is currently in their final year. They still have one more year for their internship. These med schools must be having permission for getting a badge but they still do not have their final recognition from the NMC. NMC gives final recognition to a medical school after the first batch of a med school completes their internship. Moving on to whether they have an ECFMG sponsor note or not. I had checked all the med school in India on the website of WDOMS that is World Directory of Medical Schools and not a single medical school has an ECFMG sponsor note that was established in 2019 and above. And when I tried to fill the form for USMLE, it did not show the med school name. So I was unable to fill the form for medical schools that were established in 2019 and above. Now moving on to medical schools established in 2018. Their first batch is currently doing internship. So their medical schools are not yet recognized and hopefully get recognized in 2024. All these med schools does not have an ECFMG sponsor note and their names were not available in the list when I tried to fill the form for USMLE. Now here comes the interesting part. For medical schools established in 2017 and before, I got variable results. I will discuss each of these results with you. Some of these medical schools were not recognized by the NMC or were in the process of getting the NMC recognition. Basically, if the med school does not have a recognition from their national authority, they cannot get an ECFMG sponsor note. Therefore, names of the med schools were not available in the list when I tried to fill the form for USMLE. Another group of med schools that were established in 2017 and before had recognition from the NMC but they do not have an ECFMG sponsor note and some were in the process of getting the sponsor note. Let me give you a detailed example here. This medical school was established in 2017. It is recognized by NMC but this med school currently does not have an ECFMG sponsor note. As you can see here on the website of World Directory of Medical Schools. Let's try to fill the form for USMLE. We will go on website ECFMG. Click on this link that is interactive web application. After clicking on this link, this will open. I clicked on the bottom highlighted link. After that, this long web page will open. I quickly skipped it because I just have to check whether I am able to apply for the USMLE from this med school or not. I checked these two boxes and moved forward. I checked another box and moved forward. So here we are. This is an important part. Here I just selected country that is India and searched for this medical school. And this med school was not listed. 
so medical students and graduates from this medical school are unable to apply for USMLE right now. And here is a link if you do not find your medical school in the list. I clicked on this link. After clicking on this link, it states that if a medical school does not have an ECFMG sponsor note, then students or graduates from that medical school cannot apply for the USMLE. So, a student or graduate from a medical school that already has recognition from NMC was unable to apply for USMLE because the medical school does not have an ECFMG sponsor note. Let me give you another example of a medical school that has both recognition from NMC and an ECFMG sponsor note. This medical school is Parul Institute of Medical Sciences. It was established in 2016. As you can see this medical school has an ECFMG sponsor note. Let's see if we can apply for USMLE or not. Go to ECFMG website, click on interactive web application link. Click on the bottom highlighted link. Quickly skipping these details for now. Check two boxes and move forward. Check another box and move forward. Now select country India. The web page usually refreshes itself after selecting the country. Let me zoom in. Now let's search for the medical school. Here we have the Parul Institute of Medical Sciences. After selecting the medical school, it automatically fills the medical school address. So, we are clearly able to apply for USMLE from the medical schools that have an ECFMG sponsor note. But people still have some major doubts. For example, why did India spend so much money in getting the WFMA recognition of NMC if we still have to get an ECFMG sponsor note for our medical schools? What were the benefits from this recognition? Let me tell you a brutal fact. If India didn't have applied to get the WFME recognition, not even a single medical student or graduate will be able to apply for the USMLE exam from January 2024. Let me repeat it clearly. USMLE authorities have made it a requirement for a country to get this recognition if they want their medical students or graduates to apply for the USMLE exam. Most probably, after this recognition, medical schools will not need to spend time in getting an ECFMG sponsor note for their medical schools. Getting an ECFMG sponsor note was a time consuming process and involved a lot of documentation and interaction between the medical school management and authorities of the ECFMG. Most probably, the ECFMG website is not updated right now to allow medical students and graduates from medical schools that do not have an ECFMG sponsor note to apply for the USMLE exam. Let's hope that the website get updated soon. Next video will be on how to apply for USMLE step 1 exam step by step. By the end of this year, it will be made available to you. Subscribe and support.